Have you got a dog that is scared of noisy objects in your house like the vacuum cleaner or the blender? I just want to let you know that you can help your dog overcome their fear and their fearful behaviour in a way where you don't create any more fear or you don't cause fear whilst you're getting rid of it. And fear, when I say fear, I'm talking about a behaviour that looks like hiding from it, running away from it, escaping from the object. And sometimes it can even be a dog that barks and retreats uh, at the noisy object. With a carefully planned approach, you can help your dog go from being worried about something and escaping it to actually running towards it in expectation when they hear it get turned on. Two things you need to remember, do it very gradually. So don't just turn something on and start feeding your dog to try and change their association. Do it in a very, very carefully planned way. Think about the distances, think about the intensity, think about the length of time you're doing it and only do it if the dog is showing no fear and then pair it with something your dog loves and then gradually build up until finally you get a dog who hears the vacuum cleaner going on and wags their tail or comes running. So the reason I did this was because Zuri was scared of the rotary sanding tool and that's how I do her nails. And I did this approach with her and got her to a point where she would just lie in the bed like she is now and I was able to sand her nails. The other point I want to get across is that fear can return. So what happened was I didn't do her nails for a few months. And when I turned it on and started doing her nails, she wanted to escape after a little while. So I stopped doing her nails and I went back a bit and got her used to the noise of the sanding tool being turned on. And every time it was turned on, I gave her some food. And then I wondered, I wonder if she's asleep in her bed and she hears me turn it on, will she run away or will she come running? So take a look. It's all gone. The Dremel's gone. I know. <laughs> You're funny.